Mine's like a a cooperative where we all help each other. Um, we all leave together. We all come in in the morning together and we do not go out of that building. So we're all very helpful to each other. We're all very considerate. You know, we don't have any, any bitching. We're not out. We're not pimps. We're not taking money home to men. We're aged from 27 to 56. But the times I've been arrested, they sort of look at me and say, go and get a job in Marks and Spencers. And then it's like, you don't seem to be the type to be on the street. You're not like the others. And it's like, what do you mean? I'm not like the others. We're all the same. We're all out here because we need the money. Everybody's got their own story. But I said, we're all women. I said, we're all entitled to the same common sort of courtesy. I had threats of violence, you know, someone saying, I'm going to come and break your legs. And if it was about me being gay, I would probably report it to the police as a homophobic crime. But because I'm a sex worker and I live with a friend who is also a sex worker, uh, then, you know, we could actually both be arrested. It's happened to many people. You report violence and actually you end up being charged and prosecuted. With decriminalisation... The main thing for me, anyway, would be that I would be able to feel more protected. If we needed food or if my daughter needed a pair of shoes or anything else, I would go out and earn that money so we've not struggled. And it's something that I wouldn't have been able to do on a so-called normal job. And every chance I've had to get out of prostitution is hindered. I mean, I've been offered good work, don't get me wrong. I've been offered really good jobs and I've had to refuse purely on the grounds that if they looked into my life and police records, they'd find out that I'd been charged with prostitution. After doing this job, I worked first in a flat, but we had to pay half-half, and so I had to come on the street. The only reason I do it is because of my son. It's very hard because it's very dangerous. If I was attacked, I would not go to the police because I know they will not give me any help. I've been arrested three times, yeah. They arrested me and I went to court and they give me a £250 fine. So, I must pay them. I must go back to the streets again. If the law was different, I would pay tax and pay everything only to be legal and to feel safe. <laughs>